Look, if John Wick 3 doesn't declare John Wick as one of the greatest American action heroes of all time, then I don't know what will. John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is the third film in the John Wick series directed once again by Chad Stahelski who worked as the director on the first two films and it again is written by Derek Kolstad who is joined this time by three other writers. This third entry picks up exactly where the last one left off with Keanu Reeves' John Wick being hunted down by pretty much every assassin not only in New York City but around the world now that he has a bounty on his head for breaking the rules of that criminal underworld. This makes John Wick 3 a man on the run type of film and that means we get a bunch of action scenes basically chained together for two hours. Yes, it does feel kind of far removed from the low key stylishness of the first film and even then it's removed as well from the second which was a very law intensive experience very much about building and expanding the world john wick 3 is basically capitalizing on all that's come before to just chain together action sequence after action sequence and because it's about those things it's had to make sure they deliver and boy oh boy they do. John Wick 3 really maxes out its action in any way it can. It brings back the classic gun foo that has made this franchise what it is. And watching Keanu Reeves just pop consistent headshots is honestly one of the most satisfying action experiences you can have. But seeing so much of the rest of the cast join in this time round, as well as this myriad of the most talented stunt performers on the planet, I don't think it can be overstated just how good these guys are. Watching them do their thing is just, that's what makes this movie worth seeing. That is what you're in it for. Seeing these people just put their bodies on the line to do the most crazy creative stunt work out there right now. It's not just amazing gunplay though. There's fighting with knives, with swords, with axes. There's fighting in cars, on the back of motorbikes, on the back of horses. There's dogs getting thrown into the mix here. It really is upping the ante in the action in every way possible to the point that I don't see how they could push it any further than this. All of this comes across so beautifully because of the way the John Wick series continually captures its action in wide shots without cutting it up. You really get to see the performers going at it and it makes it even more impressive when you're seeing knives stuck into people and people getting shot in real time without cutting away, without making any edits to hide the stuff. When you're really going, wow, wow. Wow! There's something incredibly special too about seeing that just about all of it is actually Keanu Reeves. He's out there doing that stuff himself, going toe to toe with people who have been stunt performers their entire lives, who have trained to be specifically good at those things. The fact that Keanu is going toe to toe as John Wick with them is truly just, it's amazing. Cinematographer Dan Lauston continues to light these scenes with an absolutely stunning neon glow to them. The first half hour of this movie is absolutely astounding to look at. There really is some beautiful stuff done and there's continually creative ideas the whole way throughout the movie with really trying to push not only the action, but the way it's actually delivered. How can we maximize the creativity that we shoot that action with? And it's great to see this movie continue to try to step it up. The visuals are breathtaking and so is the sound design, which is something I don't think I've ever really given this series enough credit for. The sound of gunshots, of ricochets, of debris, of bodies hitting the floor, of bones crunching is really, just insanely well done. Sound design is quite often used to a comedic effect in this film. There's almost moments of silence before you hear bone snap and it actually creates a very visceral response from the audience that quite often garners a couple of laughs, which I think actually makes the overall experience one that's almost amplified with seeing it in a group of people, in a theater full of people. You actually kind of feel this ebb and flow to the combat, which really, really makes for a much more involving experience, hearing people kind of gasp and, oh, and ah, oh, that's, you, you feel it. And I really, really like that. 
That being said, with the sheer amount of action in this movie, I'm sure that some people are going to find it overstays its welcome at points. Some scenes definitely do have a sense of repetitiveness to them that I think some people might check out for. There were moments where I felt like scenes were not escalating enough to warrant being continued for the length that they were, despite how glorious the choreography and photography was. I also can't help but feel that some of the exploration and expansion of the world and its lore in this movie kind of takes away from the momentum and the ferocity that could have been there had it have decided to just run off the back of chapter two two with this thing with everyone's trying to kill John Wick and he's just trying to stay alive. I actually think that there was enough story material in that to generate a two hour film of John Wick kicking ass. But what John Wick chapter three does is it goes and kind of explores a whole bunch of other things to expand the world that I didn't think it necessarily needed. I'm not saying they weren't good or they weren't interesting, but I think this could have actually been almost a far more pure film in terms of just one guy trying to stay alive and doing whatever it takes to do that. It doesn't feel unfair to me to say that John Wick Chapter 3 is a long way away from the intense empathy and intimacy of the first film because it's really just some big, huge, glorious action film. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I actually think it's an amazing thing. But if this series continues to go forward with more chapters, I think returning to those roots could actually benefit the story and our attachment to John Wick even more. But as it stands, John Wick Chapter 3 is a truly, truly wonderful action film. It's an incredible piece of not only action filmmaking, but filmmaking as a whole. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I can't get enough of John Wick. All right, everyone, those are my thoughts on John Wick Chapter 3. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like this video? Well, of course you did. You can subscribe to Breaking Banter down there somewhere, as well as my other channel, Loverboy, over there somewhere. You can follow me on Twitter at Loverboy Media and on Instagram at Breaking Banter. And of course, if you do really want to help support this channel, you can support on Patreon. Thank you so much to you guys that are doing that already. You're amazing. I love you. I love everyone that watches these videos, and I will see you all in the next one.